eighteen percent keyboard, eighty. I'm I'm a controller. You you player. you are the console peasant. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly Show. Covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Hello, Jordan Svang. Hello, Pedro Mateus. Hello, Shot Realm Dynamic. I'm Vince Stone, as well, with you, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Talking about anime, you know, regular... Japan, Japan animation. Japan animation. FTL Actually, live, do. not a live series. <laughs> yeah, an FTL live series on Netflix that we're trying to wish into being, because you know what, I'd watch that. And it's like, see, see how many episodes you can get out of this, right? Like, yeah. Like live, die, repeat or something along those lines. Jello, what's up? What's new with last episode of, uh, I think, this year? No? Yeah. Uh, Wait, no. 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 Yeah, Next week. Week. Next Next week. Week. All right. Yeah, squeak squeak one more in there. Dude, like, <laughs> December, like, time dilation goes, like, harder than normal. And you're like, whatever. <laughs> like, people are doing different holidays and stuff like that. I had a fun experience Thursday, gentlemen. And by fun, I mean not fun but the exact opposite of fun so a couple of uh probably like two months ago i got an email from uh this ex- extortion monopoly racket called uh my isp and they're like hey man Char- uh, charter yes charter business a separate division if you call charter they're like get fucked call this other number and they're like hey we're doing infrastructure upgrades and i, I, I get these fucking notifications and they're always far out like if they're doing something like this and like between on this day between these hours and these hours also, you're going to be getting a new IP address. All right. I mean, I haven't uh, had to cycle my IP address. I pay for a static IP address as part of the package since uh, my IP address was accidentally leaked a couple of times in a Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Just to be safe, just to be safe. You know, I'm behind seven boxes. I'm not terribly worried about it. Anyway, uh, that came to be at around 10 12 a.m on thursday when i couldn't log into shit because i had so much stuff limited to my ip address yeah it's ah uh, you know you know it it, it is it is a it's it's a very simple way of securing things yeah. but it's also a really bad way of securing things <sighs> shit works uh, yeah again it, it was the uh, ease of uh locking things down man and i'm like ha huh. so we're gonna have to find the roundabout way of doing every single one of these fucking things. Yeah. yeah. How, how do I get to a machine that is allowed? Pedro, what's up with you, man? Uh, you, you've been uh, force feeding Linux to Chromebooks. I know yes. that much. Yeah. Uh, there was, uh, the Siebs in the uh, discord has been uh, doing just that. Also installing Linux on a bunch of Chromebooks. And I was wondering, so is there like a new way that, uh, people are using it? It's like, yes, yes, there is. There's a Mr. Chrome box. That created a script, which uh, you just set the Chromebook to developer mode, go into the shell, run it, and it installs Core Boot, and then you just have a regular laptop with the Chrome badge on it. Uh, it, yeah, from then on you can like just install whatever. It's like a stick shift to here, man. It's a anti yeah, theft can... device. You see that Chrome logo? Like, don't bother. <laughs> you see that? It's like, ah, oh, it's a cheap laptop. Don't care. But it's running a proper operating system. And in my case, my Chromebook was a. Um, uh, an Acer Chromebook R11, which uh, has the uh, the two in one mode. You can flip the uh, the keyboard behind the screen, and it works in tablet mode, which is really really nice. And I've had that Chromebook sitting around, not doing anything ever since uh, it went end of life, no, no longer actively supported by Chrome OS. And with that, it has basically become my bedside computer. It's the one I use to read things before going to sleep. So, hey. <laughs> If I was trying to do that, I'd drop it on my face, man. Ah, th- that's the thing. Because it's one of those, I can have it in, like, uh, semi-tent mode and just have it resting on my, uh, on my chest and oh, I can man, still you, see the screen. Ah, so you, so you, you so can, so you can some, pitch uh, your tents while you pitch well, your tents. I mean, yeah, but he's got a little <laughs> snack tray on the keyboard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How about you, Jordan Swan? Oh, my week was shit. Everything's going smooth at work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, dr- everyone's out for the holidays. It's a great time for everything to catch fire. Man. Well, it's oh, a good thing you so, got everything, you know, and good plan. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it, it's, it's a great thing that I'm good at my job. Like, mm. if, if, you ever, if you ever want a cinch imposter syndrome, just, like, 
get thrown in the middle of something where like everyone else has failed at their job and you're just like, oh, I I feel I, very I good suck. about myself now. <laughs> I don't suck. I like James Cameron needs to go retrieve that bar from the bottom of the ocean. Bring it up and, a couple of notches. Yeah, but 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 I, I'm I'm still I'm still above that. I'm not I'm not I'm like I'm like a billionaire in a submarine. I'm not quite getting crushed yet. Yeah, that's that was that was my week. It's over. I have the next week off. Hopefully, until more things explode. Nice. Uh, what did you guys get up to Thursday? I didn't even get a chance to. Uh... Uh, we did some. Uh, we did some Armello. We we uh, we did two games versus the computer. I won one. Uh, Mirror won one. Uh, we tried to get Linux Neuro in, but their computer was not having it. So it was it was just Patrick and I. I just you know <laughs> Linux. You can't rely on it, man. DIT support person. Yeah, no, can't have. Yeah, that. You, you would think like the the, the former poo poo slake. QA engineer would, would would get that, but but you know some, sometimes we have rough days, right? Just like the just like the horse, just, just like the horse. Huh? You guys are like that, all right? I guess. Sure. Yeah, the, I I I mean the horse could use uh, a coffee, some self care, maybe just like a gallon of meth. It's the steam. What is the oh. And yeah, it's that time of the year again where you can. Basically, do a 180 and look back at everything that you've done on Steam, at least. Uh, probably don't want to do that uh, for what you've done during the year. <laughs> we, we, we all know what you've done, Pedro. Yes, it, it's been Hush, thoroughly that's documented. that's the third story, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is, uh, yeah, the, the year in review. Uh, Steam did it first time last year where you could see everything that you played with the breakdown and the pie charts and everything. And now they've done it again because everyone really liked it. So let's do it again. Uh, they have a little video uh, talking about it, but it is very much the exact same thing. And they make sure to remind you that you have points. All of the purchases you've made on Steam have contributed points. So go spend them on Steam Deck keyboards. I'm sorry. Steam Deck I, I, I don't see a video. <laughs> I can't get past that. This is done in vertical. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, You're meant you, to you watch that on the notification that you got on your phone. <laughs> That's what they want you to see that on. Oh, like the Steam app? So I, it's, still, mm -hmm. it's still loading, Pedro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you, you got to click on the link three or four more times, and then it will finally load. <laughs> just leave it alone. Yeah, it doesn't like to be watched. <laughs> you come back. You're like, yeah, hey. just set the phone down. <laughs> come back. It's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> Pedro's played uh, 118 games. 380 mm -hmm. how many 55 rare achievements oh my 82 percent played with the keyboard and mouse yes 18%. i am the true pc gamer <laughs> all right and you've mainlined apb reloaded and yeah um, well, i what, got back to be fair they made that work again on linux the, the developers specifically went out of their way to make sure it worked on linux this year so yeah march february march and april i just lost myself to that game nine <laughs> percent new games all right uh, <laughs> Wait, 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 let me see. Uh, playtime games that were new releases and old games and games that were released eight or more years ago. 19%. APB reload. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and your perfect game would be a Souls like deck building Warhammer dark comedy. No, it's a Warhammer so the, 40k the, 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 Souls like with uh, deck building, tanks, and naval combat in a I mean, uh, it's, dark it's 40K. comedic sense. It, it already has tents. So you ba you basically want Hand of Fate, but like Warhammer Hand of Fate. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Oh. What, what, what have I been playing? Baldur's Gate 3. 72 <laughs> games played. Seven days is the longest streak. 228 achievements. Goddamn, dude. 23 were rare, though. Uh, Baldur's Gate, Borderlands 3, Slay the Spire. All right, all those tracks, all those tracks. Let me see. 41, 50%. Uh, Games that were released in the last one to seven years, eight or more years ago, 9%. Which game was that? Uh, Quake. Quake. Ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, newer games, 41%. All right. Right on. And uh, Jordan, what type of uh, game do you my, my, Mine is apparently a tank-based roguelike deck builder board game. Right. I think all, all, we, we've all, like, Shellshock has really, like, skewered <laughs> yeah, our statistics. That, that skewed that a little bit. <laughs> By, by a lot i got i got i got a unique thing that you guys don't though yeah we gotta get if down he, here to it it's uh da, da, da. scroll and scroll, scroll and scroll and scroll there it is there yeah Look at I, that. I passed the purity test <laughs> <laughs> linux is uh 74 playtime and not linux is 26 percent 
but also Linux because it's the other Steam Linux. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, we, we, have, we have Linux at home and uh, proper Linux. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Let's see. Uh, over here in Vinland, uh, I've played 102 games. I got 199 achievements, uh, 18% keyboard, 80. I'm, I'm a controller. You, you, you are the console peasants. Oh my uh, God. I, I, I you are that. literally the opposite of me. <laughs> In, in my advanced age, I've definitely gotten to the point of like, if I can play it with a controller, I won't play it with a controller. What did I play? Uh, Trackmania and Trackmania. And then there, I flirted with Recore until I hit a super grindy spot. I'm like, ah, fuck this game. I'm done. <laughs> New games, uh, 39%. So uh, my perfect game would clearly be a racing Metroidvania superhero tank sim with battle royale elements. And uh yeah. That was with, with some light trivia mini games. Yeah, true. <laughs> These are cool. I mean, everybody's doing like wrapped things, right? Yeah, uh, Google Google Play has one, Spotify has one. Uh, apparently has listen one. to <laughs> Apparently I listened to nothing but Power Wolf all year, which is kind of weird, but Did I but, oh. that, but 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 that is that is because YouTube when, once you YouTube music has this thing where it will play you the same four songs over and over and over and over again mm-hmm. and you got to go out of your way to like oh, make it give you like new shit. It yeah, is. you have to find the my mix uh, that they automatically create. It's like okay, that that one actually starts introducing new stuff. All right, cool. <laughs> and you're fighting against uh normal people who are like, "No, I'm perfectly fine listening to the same yeah, thing I, over and over." Yeah. I, I want to listen to Bay of Pigs 97 times. <sighs> okay. It's time to invade. <laughs> now you two have Steam Decks, but neither of you have sparkly Steam Decks. No, no I'm too the, poor for that. Yeah, the OLED one, as nice as it looks and as, uh, you know, neat as the new battery optimizations and power delivery are, it doesn't justify the price. But uh, people noticed with the uh, the new OLED Steam Deck that the way that certain things were being rendered, especially against the dark background that the Steam UI has a lot of, there was some uh, chromatic aberration, some uh, little rainbow effects around the uh, icons and like the brighter things. You could see like the red and the green or the blue sticking out depending on. Got to enhance more, like zoom, and, zoom, zoom yeah, closer. Uh, the uh who was it uh jack of some uh <laughs> posted on reddit that there's now a decky plugin uh that l- gives you a shader effectively to render the icons properly which you know okay I, absolutely uh, on board with that I mean, now listen, if- you, you give me give me a little bit of alcohol i can fix that even <laughs> and, and, and and apparently this is like uh this is a like a, a hardware fault with the displays where like a bunch of the panels that they're using uh so, some of them do get hit by this some of them don't though so people Ew. are reporting that so yeah, some, some it, folks are reporting that they're not getting this so yeah it, it is uh, like sub the sub pixel uh, fringing that you have on lcds like ips displays is different than what you'd get on an oled screen so it, this is likely to happen if, yeah, the, you get a slightly different panel. The the thing that kind of got me is, oh, okay, so we're going out of our way to remove chromatic aberration whenever it appears on anything. Why the fuck do video game developers keep introducing it in every fucking game? It's, it's more work. cinematic. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> I, it, it makes it's it look more like stupid. a movie. <laughs> Valve, here's what I want you to do. I want you to uh, create a uh, replacement LCD for the OLED. So you yes. can swap the OLED <laughs> with the LCD just, just to give Pedro an aneurysm. Yes. <laughs> that would be stupid. <laughs> yes, that would be a waste of money. <laughs> now, if you're thinking about it, if you're looking at it, I mean, you, you can see it. Uh, go back, check out the video version. Pretty easy to tell. But uh, then again, you're so zoomed in. How, how big? Is that battery it's, icon? It's not. It's that, it's not that's very like. Big. Yeah, it's like ten pixels or twelve and, and, pixels and tall. <laughs> if you're in game, you only ever see it if you bring up the overlay menu. Right. So, <laughs> like, I mean, this. I mean, I guess if you just bought a brand new OLED, and you know, to, you, this type yeah, of stuff. It, yeah. And v- Valve has come out and said, like, this affects like such a minor group of people that like we're not we're not we're not going to bother yeah, fixing it. Minor group of people. Like, we mean people who give a damn. <laughs> the, well, yes. I, I mean, the, the, apparently the Decky plugin also disables system wide co- or uh, like system wide compositing as well, mm-hmm. which can uh, which can cause some uh, performance. That, that will cause losses. issues, especially on the new um, 
big picture mode, the the deck UI. Mm. D- keep compositing it. <laughs> yeah. Good news, everybody. We've talked about it on the show, but it's finally here. Shopping cart updates. All right. Inline gifting. What is that? I don't know. I haven't read that part. Let's find out together. Uh, you can now purchase gift for multiple friends and yourself without have. That's kind of, yeah, okay. I could never think of a situation where I've been under that. Yeah. Mm, good. That's a- Looking for that uh, game. Does it have a uh, four pack? No, that I have to make four different purchases. There, there, there's no, there's no four packs anymore. Yeah, they got rid they of should, they could, yeah. yeah, they quit doing that. Uh, one card across all devices, which is good. Your shopping cart will now follow your card. You, you cannot escape giving us money. Awesome. And kind of the big one, private purchasing. I mean, like now, so, now no one can tell that I've had sex with a vampire as a bear. No one can hear you steam. Uh, keeping your games <laughs> private uh, starts before you even make a purchase. So the new cart lets you Mark a game as private before you check out, man. So you can hide this. Things you're ashamed of. If you're playing too much Call of Duty Bros and you don't want your friends and family knowing that shit, cover it up. They'll never know. And I desperately want to see the slide deck that was made for the internal pitch for this because somebody has the data at Valve. <laughs> that is like, th- there's an unmined horny category here. <laughs> oh yeah, oh made yeah. Of horny money that we're not we're not extracting full horniness out of this. We we we, we can go deeper into the horny mines and extract more yeah, more that's resources. That's what I'm saying. You know, they they they've horny too far and too deep. Uh, the, the, somebody was able the, to show the ball like, rog. It's just, balls. <laughs> no, just the ball, <laughs> just the ball sack down there. And uh, somebody had to show this like as a sales pitch, and they're like, this this will will recoup at minimum dev time. To add this feature, so I, I'm glad to see it. Oh, yeah. But I want to think about this 20 years from now, when you know a, a child now is going through their parents' Steam account because you're going to inherit it. You know, we, we're generational gamers now. You're, you're, <laughs> it's going to be like finding the sex tapes, man. You, you, you're, you're going to find your parents' horny collection because you yeah. know it's going to be there, and you know you're Mac not. Because they're going to be sorely disappointed unless they really like uh, what was the match three one. I don't want. Honey everyone pop? to Honey immediately pop, yes. <laughs> start gifting Pedro horny Ever, games. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, just, if you do, go. I'm just going to reject them out of the book. Like, well, and, like, and report sorry. back the ones he doesn't reject. <laughs> so I, I, I was bringing this up in the pre pre super shows. Once upon a time, folks had burner accounts that you would just like keep all your shit in. But I guess now, a people don't do that, or b there are enough multiplayer hentai games and there are enough niche hentai games within those communities that people would not want to advertise to other horny people that they are playing. Therefore, the solution exists. I don't have shame. It's like <laughs> laughing. I, I, don't, I don't have any of the filters off, so sometimes I'm just scrolling through Steam and I'm like, oh man, that's some PNV right there. Mm. <laughs> yes. <No. laughs> oh man, we, uh, don't make Twitch jealous. <laughs> I, I, I will hold on let me take off my shirt first. i just put a black box over <laughs> yeah you gotta bring sandy in just have the black box over Dude. hey I, I i have male presenting nipples so i can be shirtless it's fine there all right in the bathtub section yes <laughs> I, listen I, i'm sitting in a bathtub right now you just can't see it I, I, <laughs> what, what if you get in a hot tub then like filled it with like ice water and be like fight fight the man I just have really, really hard nipples at that point because it would be very, very <laughs> chilly. I, I could bring over some glass. We could test the theory. Yeah, my it's nipples like, are why like are you purple? Purple? <laughs> No reason. <laughs> because I'm grape flavored, Pedro. I'm I, grape I, flavored. I, I don't think he's sleeping. Yeah, he is. Leave him alone. He'll, 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 he'll get up. Um, where's yeah. his kidney? Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, just like, it's just like the end of The Shining. Just like Project Bridge. Hey, but real quick, will either of you ever use private carts? Probably not. No. No. But again, mm-hmm. I, I do not purchase the boarding games. So. I mean, you, you, even I, if I did, I wouldn't care. I would use it. I'd weaponize that shit. I want everyone to know what I'm fucking playing. <laughs> I, I, I would stream the horny games if I'm going to start buying them. So, yeah. like, you would know. You would know if I started. Right. So, but hey, if you plan on, you know, buy some stuff, leave a surprise for your kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> Scar them and like you know their twenties yeah. or thirties or whatever you know. <laughs> One new game this week. We're gonna give a talk. Uh, throughout the holiday drought, they managed to push this out, and it's a roguelite co-op endless runner. 
we all like endless runners, don't we? You know, the everybody's favorite Mario levels, you know, the <laughs> auto scrollers. And man, there's nothing I like more than an auto scroller pushing me off that fucking cloud and to death because I was almost goddamn it, Mario. Um, this looks kind of fun. However, as with anything that's a uh, auto scroller, there's only really so much you can do with the game loop. And, you know, this is floor gap, floor build, bridge between gaps, don't die. And that's kind of my takeaway when we're watching this. I mean, this has been sped up maybe, you know, a full percent from actual game. But no, probably not. I think it might have been sped up just a little bit, but I hope it hasn't. They have real time coming up. Oh, <laughs> it reminds me of Unrailed done on a budget. And there's a lot more shit you can do in Unreal. Unrailed and uh, Unrailed is also multiplayer and it has a demo. Why do I bring that up? Why do I bring up a demo? Because this thing's $14.99 and it's uh, got online co op. And that's what I would imagine most of us would want to play with friends. And uh, that that's going to get they, they, they at least don't. They don't, at least don't get the shame bell for like being a four player co op game that right. is local only. Because that, that's, that's the biggest boo-boo, especially with racing games. Like, oh, you're going to have your friends over and race again. No, no one does that. No. <laughs> Split screen. Uh, no, I, admittedly, the whole, yeah, the void is encroaching and you need to Minecraft your way to stay alive sounds interesting for about five minutes. I, <laughs> I mean, it, it could be fun. You never know until, like, you're in there doing it. And you're like, all right, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, like... Uh, we brought up Domekeeper before. Domekeeper, if you described to me what Domekeeper was, I would think it was a boring fucking game. Yeah. And then you get into it, and you're like, oh shit, I need to get back, right? So and then it starts making you have to deal with greed mechanics, and you're like, oh, come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Just, I, I want to take them all, you know, and you're like the monkey trying to hold all the bananas and the other stuff, and like it's not happening. Yeah. Game updates out of nowhere, man. Yeah. Cool. Pirates, Vikings, and Knights 2. Uh, oh my. This is, uh, it's a, it is a source game, uh, you can, done on the source engine, and you uh, play, it's, it's, it's a three-sided deathmatch, a team deathmatch game where you are either a pirate, a viking, or a knight. Each, uh, team has three different classes that have different things, and then you go and try to murder each other. Uh, and you know, I always liked three-sided conflicts in games. But now Pedro uh, can't quit playing it, because they've added a mechanic, buddy. Oh my god, it has a three-second <laughs> cooldown. Well, they've added cooldown. <laughs> but, but like... I, I, don't, I don't know, like team A versus team B in games is, is perfectly fine, but I always love it when they throw in like that third wild card faction, faction and it's like, oh, do I help you? Do we team up? Are we fighting? And now we're fighting this new guy or do I do like it, it, it adds this fun new like extra layer when you when you add when, when you add like yellow to red versus blue in the mix or if you like throw crit angle into the mix or something. But yeah, um, it's, it's available. It's free to play. Uh, it and yeah. just get a big, massive update. Yeah, no. <laughs> which I didn't even know this game existed. I didn't have it in my library because it released in 2010, which was like five, six years ago. And um, right, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it looks and plays like old school, like CS uh, Counter Strike. But I mean, yes. again, because it's on the Source Engine, and uh, but you got pointy sticks and a blunderbuss instead of like a regular gun. Yeah, see, oh that? look, it's John yeah. Freeman. <laughs> yeah no uh, I, I was looking at the trailer the, the moment it that starts explode? It's like, uh, oh it, that looks a lot like dust too yeah that looks a lot like dust too it's like oh it's made in the source engine that's why all right okay <laughs> that's, that's, that's because it is dust too uh-huh <laughs> it seems like something's gonna be really fun on i played against a bunch of bots that's all i can speak to and uh like on paper it makes sense but like just playing it and i was like you understand why they just decided to go with guns uh <laughs> and counter-strike and pretty much all the other first-person shooters because ah, that was kind of fun it, it, it's for honor it's basically the game that for honor looked at and went we can do that with a uh, with a triple a budget instead of just being a source mod so yeah i'm not a cat for honor <laughs> <laughs> meow for meow honor. meow meow i am not a cat <laughs> Dude, uh, go check it out. It's uh, it's priced to sell. It's completely free. It runs on modems, modern ish. Just so my ran it on Debian. It, it, it may run on your modem. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, psh, dude, you never know. You could probably run it on that Chromebook, man. Yeah, th uh, uh, I was uh, actually going out of my way to try to find games. Turns out, uh, OpenMW is not on the Fedora repos, and you can't have it on Copper for some reason. So you have to build it from source. 
it took almost three hours to build uh, OpenMW from source on that Chromebook. I'm oh, not exaggerating. Yeah. But did you <laughs> wait, get wait, that build for i386 or? Why do you have to compile it on the Chromebook? Why wouldn't you just compile it? On, is it a why not just compile it on another machine? Because I was just using the Chromebook. I wasn't using anything else. I wanted to see how usable it was. That was so, part so, of the okay, experiment. Okay, so, so you got your answer, and it's not very. Got it. But, it, mm. it. That's the thing. The game itself plays just fine. It was just building on the Celeron M3060, which is passively cooled and dual if core without hyper-threading. <laughs> if you can't compile code on your CPU, then it's... Nice. I mean, Pedro, you could have cross-compiled it on the Raspberry Pi 4 and sped things up significantly. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Would you take a life or death on that bet? <laughs> hey, there, hey there, there's more than one CPU on the storage, on that thing, right? Like, I yeah. think the, the big bottleneck there was actually the EMMC storage because that's all that has. That's going to do it for all of our steamy stuff this week. But we got a couple of bits of news during this holiday season, and our uh, the closest thing we have to like a a, a wish, a, a a thought, at a prayer. We send good vibes all the way into the ether and. Intel slaps that shit right out of our mouth. Because <laughs> that's what Intel does. WCF Tech, Intel roadmap points and points reaffirm. Wait, oh, points reaffirms. Is that grammatically correct, gentlemen? Yeah, the, 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 the roadmap the points. points. The points yes. of the roadmap. Reaffirm. Yeah. Next Gen Arc, Z2 Battle Mage, Discrete GPU Launch 2024. Updated. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Okay. So. During a launch in Japan, Intel showed a roadmap, is what I'm showing right now on the screen, with the Battle Mage discrete GPUs with 2024. Like, hey, look, here's 2024. Here's 2023 with some shit on it. Over here in 2024. Look, 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 a- look how big 2023 is. It's totally, there's totally not like a week left in right. that fucking year. But hey, man, we got some shit on top of 2024, man. It's pretty dope. And, you know, that's what WCCF, or like, not even like spammy or speculative. It's like, hey, this is a slide Intel fucking showed. It's pretty dope. And I'm like, cool, man. Then, you know, Intel reached out and they're like, hey, man, uh, maybe you need a refresher course. We're Intel and this is a slide from us. Uh, you really should know better by now. I'm just saying because, you know, <laughs> we're Intel. So this x axis that label translates as 2024 onward. It's not a release date of your year, guys. It's it's just a yeah. fucking number we pulled out our ass. And <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's the kanji for a question mark? Yeah, further <laughs> away from 2020. You know, we're just letting people know that 2024 exists as an idea, but it doesn't, don't, it shouldn't reflect anything in the chart. It's a PowerPoint thing we made. Come on, guys. You should know better. Yeah. And uh, the only thing I'm really worried about here is, uh, now Jordan, you, you get a good take on it, but my initial thought was like, really, uh, gives me a little bit of a worry that we're like, Intel's not just straight up coming out and like, we're owning this. They're like, yeah, Battle Mage 2024. Yeah. Yeah. We, we were, we were talking about that a bit in the pre-pre super shows and the Intel has some good reason to not commit to some hard and fast dates. They, they have been burned by that in the past. So I, I understand their reticence, but uh, we, they were uh, talking a bit, little bit about the roadmap and the parts that are coming out. There's going to be a lot of, um, there's that Archmage refresh uh, that is going to be coming out. And then we're going to be getting some uh, IGPUs in like an APU style configuration, as well as some dedicated cards. And Intel having their own APU systems that aren't like NUC form factor, that would be nice. AMD has not really been releasing APU systems. And those are kind of the lifeblood of like mid-range computing right now. So having having some competition there, which apparent which apparently the battle mage architecture is competitive with RDNA two or RDNA three. Well, everybody's that, like really like when yeah. are we getting our RDNA three uh, APUs and AMD's like they're going to run really hot when and uh, they're going to have really shit power uh, efficiency yeah. and battery life when can I have them like here we made it this thing sucks it's really hot and has yeah. bad power of it like we tried to tell you that. Yeah, but uh, but I, I, so it should be competitive with that. I don't know. I don't know realistically what that means. And yeah, the the twenty twenty four thing doesn't fill me with confidence either. Like I understand. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if we have another like global whatever ship stuck in uh, Panama's mm-hmm. butthole, and uh, they they can't get anything, and everything falls apart, and like if if, if their driver team gets assassinated by like Russian military, <laughs> right, or whatever. Dude. Yeah, like and so yeah, but. Dude, I, I don't want to read like 10 years from now, like yet another thing Intel could have like just fucking owned, but they fucked it up. Like only Intel could fuck something up because we have a very 
sordid relationship with Ark. Like, because like when the rumors were going around, when um, Raj like pieced out, or like any other company wouldn't be worried. Intel will take a fucking axe to something. They just spun off their FPGA division this week, which everyone went. You had a fucking FPGA division. Uh, <laughs> And like, what? <laughs> great time to spin it off for like right after AMD has a- acquired Xilinx. Mm. I'm like, brilliant move, Johnson. Oops. Um, the, 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 the other thing with these cards, too, is we got no word on memory configuration. Uh, and the, the, the 40 series NVIDIA was not super inspiring when it came to like giving us anything. a decent amount of memory for, for like the, yeah. the money you're paying memory, for these cards. Price, yeah. So, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Intel really starts pushing that 12 to 16 gig as the norm for the mid range. I, I think, I think we're at that point these days. I don't know. We're eight, eight, eight is just not cutting it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. It's cutting wallets. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cutting Jensen new paychecks. The yes, fat, fat uh, getting check. him new uh, leather jackets. Uh, it is, it's Intel. Uh, they say in the article that we might see something at CES 2024. It's Intel. That's like tomorrow. Don't, don't hold your don't hold your hopes for that because don't probably don't, not don't, don't hold your breath. You, you will <laughs> Dude, they're just gonna show like a something spinning with like just a drape over it, question marks and shit. They're like, there it is. Thing. It's anything could be in the mystery box, even that new GPU you want. I'll take yeah, the box. Like, I'll take the box. The way that they dodged the um uh the lawsuit about uh just straight up lying about the release of the XE graphics when those first came out, and they had to go, no, 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 no. Uh, that there was one laptop model that came oh, out, yeah, we in pushed Korea. that thing out in Korea, a uh, limited quantity. The one. Yep. <laughs> it, you 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 could buy so it, it technically on, on, came out they, on, they, on, they, at, at tuesday on midnight on november 31st they hit all the fucking tech boxes for the share, mm-hmm. shareholders like we did exactly what we said by you know this is what they mean by the letter of the law versus the spirit yes, yes. Te- technically correct <laughs> right. the best kind yeah. of correct <laughs> um yeah I, I i would expect like when we haven't heard anything from tom the, uh, formerly uh, yeah. in video like the Tom is probably wondering, it's like, well, Ryan left me alone. The fuck do I do now? <laughs> Call he's, me Tom. He, 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 he's just like sitting in an armchair with like a picture of Ryan and a sifter of Randy <laughs> next to a fireplace, just like looking longingly like. <sighs> throwing, a, throw, throwing NVIDIA GPUs into the fire. He's in the- <laughs> <laughs> just in, inhaling the fucking smoke coming out. <laughs> oh, man. And for so, I'm sorry, Tom, you have pierced nipples in my ass, so I'm. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's got the Comcast shirt, and he's just like, oh. <laughs> okay, let's let, let's let's talk about controllers, and right. let's talk about kernel support because this this is going nowhere fast. So, uh, Use if the you fuck out of somebody just tuning in, like, wait, that's a sharp turn, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, uh, Nintendo Switch Online, we're all paying for this, right? So that we can play our classic NES games and Super NES games and Sega Genesis games and N sixty four games. Totally not just running our rip ROMs and RetroArch. Well. You know, if you did buy those uh, Switch Online subscriptions, you could have also bought some fancy Bluetooth controllers, uh, or uh, wire, or they they also have like wired USB connection as well. But they are like uh, classic NES controllers. These ones clip on the side of your Switch. The other ones don't. I'm a little sad that there isn't like one that will cl- like an N64 one that will clip on the side of the Switch so you can wield it like a fucking. <laughs> I, I want one that'll work as a double as a belt buckle. <laughs> I want so okay so. To figure out what the fuck these things are, I watched so much YouTube reviews of these things. Um, so someone actually tried to play Super Smash Bros. with like the two NES controllers on either side, and there's no analog stick, so you can't actually play the game, which is actually interesting because in the uh, in the Collabora work for the kernel support for this, not all of these controllers they all present as a Switch Pro controller, but not they don't all have the complete Switch Pro feature set because it has Rumble, it has the IR camera, it has the motion controls. It has. It might have a joystick. It might have two joysticks. You don't fucking know. So uh, they have an, They have now added a subsystem in the Linux kernel to flag these controllers so that they will expose the correct feature sets, and you can just use these controllers right out of the box and not have to pay 50, uh, the the fifty dollars a month for Nintendo Switch Online. Oh my god! I just like forty nine ninety nine because uh, like yeah, I'm having a moral debate because on my 
bucket short term bucket list of I've always wanted to go back and uh, actually finish and go through Ocarina of Time. And would, like, would, I, would you do like a Ship of Harkanian? Like yeah, the, like you know, since we get the decompiled stuff, and like I thought, yeah. it, you know, I stream it, of course, but. And I've asked on the show before, like, if anybody had a recommendation for, like, a USB N64 controller, because I'm dumb. My brain does not, I have to manually reach over here and pick up a damn controller. It's like, if it shows me a fucking square, I'm like, all right, I don't know what the fuck square, what square translates to X. So I need that controller, or I'm going to have a bad time, probably for the first, like, so, five hours into the game so uh, actually with ocarina especially uh and i'm, I'm, I'm just going to use uh, i'm just going to use my playstation controller as an example here um where uh in the n64 controller mm-hmm. this stick here is the c buttons and for ocarina you need to like do specific songs so you need to do like up down up down left right left right or whatever and it's really easy to fuck it up uh-huh. this was the problem with the uh with the wii u version of it was you have to do it with this thing and you're going to fuck it up because you're going to do an angle and hit the wrong button. And st- so, yeah. Gotta yeah, get yeah. that old school stuff, get my trigger in and wireless. I don't know, like 50 bucks. Like, it, then I could always go back and play. Like, the I've never played the Morrow. Did you guys have an N64? I had two friends that had N64. So I was like, always had like an overnight experience with one. My, my, my N64 days were uh, blockbuster video. So I didn't own a lot of games for N64. Mm-hmm. It was you would rent whatever one or two games from Blockbuster and try and get as far as you could. Or if someone else had a save that they didn't complete, it's like, oh, let's see what they're up to. And then you you go and... I, I had already bought my first 3DFX card, so I wasn't dealing with the console peasants. They're not, I was too busy lording over these motherfuckers. But yeah, like, you know, I, I was 10 years old. I had no yeah. disposable income. <laughs> um, yeah, I always wanted to go back. And so maybe, maybe. But dude, talk about nipple rubbing. It makes me feel so good that Nintendo fucking released a controller that only works with an active online subscription to their own bullshit. Like that is so evil. I almost got like a little fucking tear coming out. And uh, now it's one of these wonderful devices that, oh yeah, also we just use it on fucking Linux. Yeah, because you know, Linux will run your shit whether you like it or not. That's it's like where uh, we're <laughs> the audio interfaces from a Poogie. Yeah. Yeah, well, the ones that we're only meant to work with a Mac ever because we're never going to release Linux drivers. I mean, not Linux drivers, but even Windows drivers is too. Like, pff, oh, you mean, oh, it supports Mac. Now it supports Linux. Click, get wrecked. Well, n- now there's no more FireWire on, on Mac. That's, that's gone <laughs> for, forever. Right. E- even yeah. for the USB ones, like this uh, Apogee Duet 2 that I have is the Mac version specifically yeah. because the Windows and Mac and uh, like the generic one as a different packaging has a different like look on the actual thing this is the mac and ios specific version so and it works yeah you just plug it in (laughs) like whatever click done (laughs) and one of the cool things about linux is you never have to worry about uh you know big linux isn't going to decide that you you need to update your hardware so we're just going to quit pushing out driver support you you might get a little bit of that. We 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 just lost floppy drive support in the kernel. RIP. Yeah, mm-hmm. but if you need it, you can always add it. Bye. Yes, you 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 can build the module yourself. But did yeah. you see like the big news thing floating around this week that like billions, trillions of PCs are going to be instantaneously dumped in the landfill because of Windows 11? Uh, oh yeah, because of the T- TPM stuff or yeah, whatever. They can't upgrade it. Do you, do you think? Uh, Microsoft's going to bow a fucking knee on that one. You're either going to be able to get enough pressure on them. Be like, why do you hate the environment? And they're like, get wrecked. Considering what well, they well, so, with, so um, they they, they, run, they they give money to OpenAI. You think that shit is environmentally friendly? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going for for like um, the hardware support, the official hardware support that Microsoft has had for just Windows Seven to Windows Eight, Eight Point One, Windows Ten. Uh, Skylake got. Pretty much uh, people who were running Windows 7, and uh, the moment that Skylake came out, it's like, sorry, not officially supported. Well, so they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're going to get tossed in the people who also want to watch in the bin with the people who want to watch their Blu ray DVDs on PC, right? No, can't do it anymore. Here's the curveball with Windows 10 because for the first time ever in Microsoft his- history, they're going to be offering the public extended support for mm. Windows 10 that you as an end user, as a consumer can purchase extended support to keep Windows 10 alive. 
then do you think that that's going to be their way out of it? Like, I mean, give us money. How long that's are they probably gonna... the legal justification they will use? Yes. <laughs> Realistically, how long can they can they keep that up though? Because like mm-hmm. backporting stuff is like not easy, especially if when you have like a moving target. Well, oh. you you got to think about how many point of sale systems have Windows XP embedded on them right now, and how many ATMs have the same. Like they got experience keeping this shit up and running thirty years after it was made. Yeah, yeah, but so those the pipeline are, the, exists. That's true, but it is for like narrower scope than because like ATM machines don't have like fucking fancy video cards, and if they do. I, gotta I don't know about you, my, my, ATM my, my, my ATM's RGB is blinked water-cooled. <laughs> yeah, can, 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 can your ATM run Cyberpunk? I've overclocked <laughs> it. Um, who knows? Like, yeah, just, just go install Linux. That's great advice. Somebody, unfortunately, they asked them uh, on our Linux. I was reading that this morning was, uh, you know, the typical, hey, man, I've run Linux for a year. Let me tell you how to fix Linux. We've all been there motherfuckers don't try to burn you you weren't there you're like <laughs> all right I, i've got it figured out guys here's how we fix linux and it was always the uh and this this was the and i've been there myself the the take of we got to just make it easier we got to quit telling people linux is complex and because the average person to install linux and i broke his i had to break his heart to get a lot of votes because throw away comment i'm like the average person doesn't install operating system <laughs> it's true man linux users bsd users fucking whatever you're not the you're not an average human being if you're installing an operating system period regardless of what it is i ran into this with 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 the kid because i'm like i have the one administrator account on his computer mm-hmm. if he needs to install software he needs to ask me oh you're fucking tech support god damn but 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 i and, and i said this this will remain until you install your own copy of the op- of an operating system on this computer at which point i will no longer support it and you're on your own, <laughs> and I would, and so I'm that that fucker is never going to install another piece of software on that computer. He's like, right? bitch, like, I got you on call. Yeah, like give give yeah. me that setup then. Yeah, like, yeah. <sighs> and but but that's that's the case with most people, right? Like, yeah, they they, they, they don't want to mess with it, and and if it breaks, they just don't use it. They just they'll just like I'll, I'll play on my iPad. I can mm-hmm. I can plug my VR headset into my iPad now. <sighs> Such is the thing. Uh, NVK holiday update. Uh, this this is so cool. So this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So we we've, we've been following we've been following the the development of NVK ever since uh, NVIDIA released their GSP firmware. So now all all of the shit has been moved into the black box. So now we can start making like actual open source drivers that can hook into them. Uh, and NVIDIA or the the Collabora folks have been making some pretty pretty crazy uh, results. They recently we the last time we talked about it. They had uh, Vulkan support. Now uh, they're getting to the point where they can actually run games and getting decent performance at it. Right now, um, Pedro will talk a little bit about some of these edge cases, but right now the big one is NVK plus Zinc already curb stomps the old Nouveau OpenGL performance by like a country mile. And now there's like actual Vulkan support as well, uh, or like DX11 support. Uh, They're working on targeting DX12 eventually. And the other thing that's really interesting, they're looking at shipping this for Fedora 40. So we might be in the moon future where you can install Fedora on a, a, um, on a, on an NVIDIA system and shit will just work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, it can work better if you install the blob drivers, but you, you wouldn't have, you can, you can just like keep on living your life. Like, and, and not have to touch the Bob drivers. And that's, and that's a that's long kind of fucking crazy. way away from can't even get enough of a display for a TTY. Right. Yeah. And then you have like the edge cases, like a hat in time where uh, Pierre Loop Griffet was like, okay, I had to check it out. And uh, yeah, as it turns out, the game runs better on NVK than it does on the proprietary driver, which makes me on, very on, happy. On, on a 3090, <laughs> mind you. So Yes, like the, the edge case of edge cases. But still, showing NVIDIA up at their own game, if they can do that across the board, that would make me very happy. <laughs> even competitive, right? Even yeah. if it gave like, even if it gave like, acceptable it doesn't have to be like fucking bleeding edge it's gonna get very close it doesn't have to be like a massive gain like here it just has to be similar enough like it was for mesa and the amd drivers it just has to be good enough it's it's in a weird spot because you know what you want to say is like well compared to the amd open source versus the closed source but on linux amd is 
dem- uh, demonstrated multiple times they don't give a shit about Linux on desktop. Get fucked, nerds. Um, <laughs> however, it's a different fucking equation on NVIDIA, right? Because NVIDIA has been supporting Linux desktop for 30 fucking years, man. But getting closer to that binary plot, but we will have that same situation, though, or that parody of um, good enough or really good, perfectly usable open source solution for NVIDIA, then you got the closed source blob that you might want. Maybe it's going to have some better performance for that. You're definitely going to need it for compute, but the CUDA is always probably going to need the um, CUDA yeah, uh, for every and, 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 and bank. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not going to give the folks access to right, the encoders, no, that, I don't think. Nobody's going to be hammering into that stuff, but you know, then we got that weird uh, future, because I, I don't know what AMD is doing on the compute side right now, and they can't make up their damn mind. They were fucking around with Rockham, and everybody's like, you're fucking up Rockham just as bad as you were fucking up OpenCL, guys. Like, take, you got to take this shit seriously. And they don't have that support, because uh, NVIDIA has been pushing CUDA since 2007 and treating Linux like a first-class citizen. I'm not sticking up for NVIDIA. This is just how this shit works. That's why NVIDIA is embedded in the AI ecosystem in, as it in, is in this. the server in the server space right yeah. like if 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 you want like enterprise grade gpus you can buy fire amd prior fire pros but you're going to be using you're going to be using like the teslas and the, the whatever the fuck the A-series. even with the uh like amd stuff they immediately start falling apart once you add more than one card like i mean mm-hmm. it is a genuine dumpster fire like people are trying you know they're trying to fight the good fight here and they're like these just don't fucking work it's not like a performance issue and plus all the tooling's written for cuda right now yeah, Why? because AMD. Ah, uh, oh, I want AMD to like take that seriously. One thing I'm terrified of is AMD taking um, compute seriously, and uh, but and doing the reverse. Imagine this cl- fucking cl- close, closing it off, closing all the fucking source off, <laughs> all of it. All, all all they have to do is be like, hey, you don't get specs under next gen. Sorry, guys, we're going back I, to binary yeah. only. I don't. I don't think they can pull that off, though. They're like, there, there's, there's not, there's not, there's not enough market presence. There's not enough goodwill, uh, and like, even even Nvidia has fucking seen the fucking writing on the wall. They're We're open sourcing spot, their drivers though. because like an enterprise demands that. Enterprise demands access to that code, but AMD and, doesn't have that worry because enterprise don't fucking care about their computer right, stuff and, right now, <laughs> and, and and they never will until they do right. So if they go all closed, it's not gonna. Maybe, it's, maybe it's, they it, gotta pull it. That, in. I, I'm dude. Corporations have the dumber shit. The, you know, this, this, the this GPU is true. Open, they'll be dumb. The GPU open stuff is basically the outside of the oh the underdog type of situation is the one thing that AMD kind of has going for them to generate that goodwill from uh, the yeah, masses. Uh, SSR. You, yeah, you see a lot of people going. Yeah, but they're actively opening the source for everything or the technology or most of the they, technology they released the stack even initially when they released the uh, source they didn't do it because they fucking wanted to people yeah they, they, they did it because <laughs> no one was using it and they're they, like here some someone they, please they yeah. amd was that far from disappearing man we're talking pre-rising <laughs> like amd was not far from just going away and the, uh, that's what i worry about it just takes the wrong fucking person with the wrong fucking idea for shit like that to get flipped around um but yeah. Hey, at least we'll have a video open source drivers. Yeah, I, I, again, uh, th- this is this is so spooky. We're like, you you can you can just install Linux on an NVIDIA system and it's it weird, works. And, man. and that's the thing with the open source um, kernel modules, you could have say the open source drivers for gaming, and then install just the CUDA module and load that separately. I, I so. <laughs> I, I will continue speaking this until Jensen gets like the tumor in his brain from my psychic emanations that makes him do it. Uh-huh. But I, I really, I, this really makes me excited for like NVIDIA ARM laptops because with a fully open source stack, that'd be dope as hell. Well, you're just trying to get excited about the next switch. Uh, right. Yeah. Please. That I, I, <laughs> but I want to install Linux on it. But it's so weird to pick apart the tea leaves right now in 2024 because uh, both AMD and NVIDIA have completely fucked off on the consumer GPU division. They're like, we don't care. That doesn't make us dump trucks full mm-hmm. of money. And this, uh, the AI craze is like, they're buying them quick. We can price them at $40,000 a card and we still can't make them fast enough. You know, that that's where my my like my, my squishing is of like we might see some really dumb, some really weird shit take place in the consumer GPU market. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, no, it, it, it definitely the tr the trend lately is it's all just moving to enthusiasts. Like consumer consumer as a computer segment is kind of dead. If it's not a laptop or if it's not like a pre built system, they're kind of not interested in selling it to you, right? Yeah. Strange times. All right, we've been holding it off, saving the weirdest for last. We're gonna talk about alpacas because they're like horses on a budget. A little more bite. The alpaca. The yes, the it's world's got a fucking uh, first. Wheel. <laughs> the world's first actually viable open source controller, and damn you, Input Labs, you did a damn good job with this. Uh, the the new uh, progress report, they do that every now and then, whenever they have like significant stuff to report, they put out a new progress report. The big one in this one is the everyone kind of wanted, because right now the Alpaca, the only version of it, you have to plug it in, it has to be plugged in. So they've actually been trying to use the Raspberry Pi Pico W as the microcontroller to get some wireless connectivity, some Bluetooth going. And they managed to get the latency down to 3.5 milliseconds when they first Oof. started. It was around it was a, when they first started, it was around 30. So they th that was like a 10x reduction, which for a Bluetooth controller is pretty good. And now they just need to figure out the power requirements on how to actually have the controller be truly wireless. Uh, and that's very good. They've uh, made some changes to the profile storage in the uh, in the firmware, which uh, that's <laughs> the way that the alpaca works is basically very reliant on you creating your own profiles and creating your own sets of uh, controls and going into the game and editing those controls to be exactly what you want. It's not a set it and forget it type of controller. You're very much expected to always fiddle, always tinker. And now they've made that. Uh, there's a control app that you can run in a Chromium-based browser. I think it doesn't work in Firefox still. It still requires something Chromium-based. But that allows you to change the um, the on top of the base profiles that it already has, like the ones for FPSs and for racing games and for whatnot. You can create new ones, and it actually saves them now. <laughs> uh, th th that was one of the big fixes that they introduced. It actually saves them, and it doesn't. Uh, if you remap everything, it actually stores the profile properly, so it's very, very nice, and you can remap literally every button, every action, you can remap are they, everything. Are they gonna be, are they gonna be, like, putting up a site or something, like, because one, one of the nice things about Steam Input is you can grab other people's profiles very, very easily. Is there a way, are they planning to, like, have a way to share those? Uh, they, that, that, that you already really can? You well, already yes, can you, you, on you, you, Discord? You think, <laughs> right, that, that isn't, hey, can someone please send me their shit over Discord, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> does the little Raspberry Pi thing have a Steam Deck card slot in it? <laughs> uh, the no, the Raspberry Pi Pico does not have. Oh. Um, it, it has some you, you storage. It? Yeah, it, some storage that you can access uh, to flash the the firmware. But I uh, I don't think it comes with the um the SD slot. card slot. Now, somebody yeah. left a comment on a the YouTube video that you did uh, for it, and they're like, "Hey, why 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 don't these cats hook up with framework?" Seems why like don't they? Very much. In the, <laughs> I don't know, man. For, for all I know, so they could be like, "Man, get ready." They know what they did. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the thing. The framework is developing a computational platform. These folks are looking to create an open source controller ecosystem and uh it sounds like they could I, smooch they could they absolutely could it's just what what is the um what's the how motivation much how, how much oh, time? oh that's real, real easy a fucking case that doesn't look sketchy is butt fuck because <laughs> it's been 3d printed <laughs> i mean it's it's a goddamn cyber truck of fucking controllers dude yes it, it is very <laughs> angular it is very but it's actually Same not color. that bad <laughs> except for the uh the like spiky bits at the you back. can't even tell he's, he doesn't have a cybertruck model car <laughs> like Why the spiky that bits cyber at the back that, I, that i've now uh ascended back so that it doesn't hurt my fingers um that like that's what i look for that, to control that, you, send it back you have access bit. to the 3d models you can change this you can yeah, print your own I, 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 I need a controller homie i don't, I don't need a fucking art project <laughs> ah that's the thing if you just want a controller that's probably not the one you want. <laughs> well, if you if, want if, something that can do as much as the alpaca does, then it is absolutely the best choice. And 
you can actually uh th- that doesn't have a gyro that doesn't have a capacitive touch sensor you don't know what doesn't inside have that uh that, that actually but, has but you, a, but you know what this does have nacho cheese <laughs> it's filled full of it. i don't think that's a good thing for a controller <laughs> Not for you. For me, it's great. See, this is what you don't realize. This is why you got to read the fine print, man. All Logitech devices are nacho cheese resistant. Up yeah. to 30 cheese. Yeah, see, see th- th- this, this is why this is a superior controller. Is I can fill it with nacho cheese and it still works. Your shit will break. <laughs> but yeah, th- that's the thing. Uh, if it breaks or if you just want to buy the bits and then put them together yourself, they're selling the full, uh, fully soldered PCB now along with the 3D printed parts and everything else that you might need. it Yeah, you can effectively just buy an alpaca from Input Labs now. You just have to put it together yourself when you do it. Yeah. See, you know, if I was alpaca, I mean, like, you ordered an alpaca, I'd fuck with them, dude. I'd send somebody a full-size fucking crate with some holes drilled out and have it delivered freight, but it just have the controller inside what no. would obviously look like an alpaca. <laughs> no, 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 like no, 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 no. fuck-off yeah. box, but just the no, controller. <laughs> no, no, you, you, you send them back a disassembled Ikea bookshelf and be like, I can't figure this out. <laughs> either that or some sausage <laughs> just, just the big meatball ladies and gentlemen uh, we got a little bit of hate mail uh, this week if you want to get in touch with us head over to linuxgamecast.com smash that contact button a couple options there you know how to read I got faith in you man I'm still locked into the WP um, admin thing alright good on you uh, yeah do the thing Send now us a, clear yeah. cash do the things. <laughs> Send it in. Uh, we might read it on this very show. Might not. Who knows? Uh, YouTube comments, Patreon comments, you name it. Uh, any way you want to get in touch with us, just don't at request on social media with like something you expect to be on the show because squirrel, we will forget. We have a 100% track record of doing that. So if you want to roll like that, go for it. Uh, Joa Jata. Yo, jo- Joa Jata. Joa Jata. It's Portuguese. Uh, yes. Yeah, they write in and they say, you guys talk about controllers so much. Have you tried it bit new? I have one wireless pro two and I'm very impressed by its quality and compatibility. Can't remember you ever mentioning those. Well, I know Pedro has one. Yeah, I, I, I did mention those. In fact, this one right here, the SNES. Isn't that thing pro. broke as fuck? Yeah, it <laughs> broke on stream. I was playing the uh, Jedi Ginger uh, Souls like and on stream this just straight up stop working uh i can't find anything physically wrong with it i've cracked it open i had a look at the pcb it all looks to be in place there's nothing obviously like burned when, like electronics just that's fuck off feel- without any uh, signs of like what fucked off or like yeah that. it's, it's, it's <laughs> the nacho cheese <laughs> Lack of yeah, nacho it, cheese. it might it's need some nacho cheese it, yeah. i really i really like, like this controller lazarus pit lazarus pit <laughs> yeah but, the, 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 the cheese <laughs> gotta bring it back man <laughs> I really like this controller because it was tiny and I could actually reach all of the buttons with my right uh, sort of thumb. Uh, <laughs> so it was it was really nice in that respect. I really, really enjoyed it. I, but yeah, I, it is I, I, I bought one of the, very much dead now. <laughs> I bought one of them for my wife recently because she has very tiny hands and she likes to play video games but can't hold regular controllers. Uh-huh. So you get her the Duke? She, yeah, she got she got them baby hands. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I. No, yeah, I, I, the eight bit do do tiny tiny Duke. Um, no, and it, yeah, I, honestly, I was impressed with like the button quality. They're like all very snappy and whatnot. It feels like a like a proper control. Uh, eight not, eight not bit twos are premium. Like they're not, uh, you know, you, you don't want to buy like seven bit moves or some shit like that off Amazon. <laughs> Retro bit four, is the four, other one. Four, four, four bit maybe instead of eight bit two. <laughs> now uh, this got me thinking though. Uh, bringing this, uh, thanks for the question. That was good to know. Uh, what was your first real PC controller? USB. We're talking USB because a lot of us are the age. You're like, okay, we well, were talking about game port shit, and you know, <laughs> we were talking about that in the pre pre super shows. And I'm like, yeah, Thrustmaster two, baby, uh, to play the Mech Warrior twos. <laughs> first usb controller because that puts us in the time of like in modern era ish and jordan went and dug his out and i was like damn it and i have one in the uh, tech closet here in the studio mine is the logitech whatever the fuck this is that one mine doesn't have the uh analog sticks on it though this is just yeah, the, this, uh, four the, button the, with this, the shoulder this, pads yeah this is the this is the fancier version of the one that ben has the the, the dual action it, re- it registers as an f310 according to ls usb 
So I'm just going to call it that. I was like, uh, you yeah. know what? I could just plug this in. It will fucking crash the box. I guarantee it for no reason. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I got this to play uh, Forgotten Realms Demon Stone back in like 05, 06. Because oh. I, had a pir- I had a pirated copy on my computer. And I didn't want to play it with a keyboard and mouse because that fucking sucked. So, uh, but on- honestly, this wasn't a great controller. They're like, like I, I, I still say that the shock feel? four is kind, kind of the pinnacle. Of, it feels, it feels of, kind of spongy and plasticky. It does. It, fe- it feels cheap, <laughs> but like that's what that was back in the day, right? Like that's what computer peripherals were. People, there were yeah, they were not premium. They were like, oh, you dork, you want to plug a controller into computer? Sure, we'll make something for you. We're allowed to. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I that that's why my first uh, actual controller that I used over USB, not counting the uh, Logitech although, although, Wingman Formula Force, that was the uh, the steering wheel. Although, it, I had just got an adapter for this uh, PS2 DualShock uh, that I don't want to touch the uh, the analog sticks because the little rubber cover. Yeah, Nothing. it's yeah. really, really oily. <laughs> really oily. I, I was surprised that this fucker still works, though. I plugged it in, and, like, Steam picks it up, and, like, Steam input works with it, so. That was, uh, the, the F310 was the one that they used when they first released the big picture mode. All of the promotional things before the Steam controller came out, they used the Logitech F310. It's kind of strange now, and you you don't even think twice about it. You just go buy like whatever uh, current console uh, controller is that you want. You come home and you hit the pair button, and like you just start using it. You know, Un- on, unless you're on Windows, on Linux, then you need yes. to install a bunch of random software. <laughs> All right, if, if you're on Windows, there's some extra steps and shit. But. Yeah, if you want to use a PlayStation controller on Windows, there's extra steps involved. <laughs> Although I found out, I found out why the Wi-Fi on this Xbox controller is busted. You need to build a kernel module for this. Cause it's not standard. Wait, you you got the one with the sparkly D pad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't have that one. I, I got the. Yeah. All right. Huh. Yeah. W- w- why? Wired. It works fine, but Bluetooth. It doesn't want to pair. I thought they fixed that. <laughs> they fixed that for the S, the Xbox Series S controllers, not for the original ones. Damn. <laughs> Daniel. I. You know, I got I got it on clearance. I plugged it in. It fucking worked. I'm happy, right? Like, yeah, you're like, fuck it. I'm on Fedora. It'll, it'll work eventually. Yes. You, know, you can just put it in your pile of stuff. Like one day, you're just gonna start working. Yeah. When I plug Fedora, in. Fedora 40. I can I I can plug in my 1080, and it will just boot. Crazy. All right. Uh, yeah. Send us your feedback. Let us know questions like that. We love shit like that. It's uh, always good content to go down uh, memory lane with our. Yeah, how light this fucking controller is, dude. Like, I feel like I, it, could, yeah, I, it, could, I could snap it if I just did that, but I'm not yeah. because... <laughs> you, you, you give it a little squeeze and you can feel like the screws flexing a little bit. You're like... Not, yeah. not premium by any stretch of the imagination. By far the lightest controller I have. <laughs> uh, it's a by far the most cheaply made controller you have. <laughs> Before we get out of here... Uh, I want to thank everybody for helping us out. Uh, we talked about last week, like out of nowhere. Um, I got a bit of a shock on a. I, I got a super thanks from DCI, and kicked us like two hundred. And I'm like, that's fucking dope, man. I didn't even know that thing worked. Nobody's ever done it before. And uh, Edgar Rodriguez, fourteen ninety seven, is like, hold my fuck mother and penguin, and sent in a two dollar thanks from last week hey, actually using the youtube thingies thank you I was like, thanks yeah right next to pedro sniffing his uh steam deck that ended up did you notice i had to mirror the image on that yes uh, it, it just looks mirrored on my end so no I no know. i mean for the uh, thumbnail for last week's video with you pedro, pedro oh. the, <laughs> I, I had to get creative because you were on here's what we're talking about the mm-hmm. wrong side. You notice your microphone is on uh, your yes. Right side. <laughs> so I would have to be here. So you right, Pedro around. leaned into the that side of the screen. I'm like, but I already made this part. So yeah, that, that's that's, <laughs> that's mirror universe, Pedro. That's good, Pedro. <laughs> he need he need he needs like the the red laser eyes, and 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 we need like red circles for like maximum clickbait. 
Right. Uh, the, 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 the arrow pointing at the vents. Yeah, the thing. <laughs> there, it, there was one post on Reddit where it was like, I, it was like some window that had like a red like sign with like an O on it. And it's like, I was staring at this thing for five minutes before I realized that this was an O and it wasn't circling something. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hey, if you want to kick us some coin, we got an easy way to do that. If you want to make it rain all of our face, chest, and neck, we got a support section where we have access to things uh, to give you access to our Patreon, our LibrePay, our PayPals, all of that. Uh, if you can support us on Patreon, we got a gang of fucking bonus content every week. We keep talking about the pre-pre super shows, and that's our production meeting, the closest thing we get to one where we just talk about what's going on, about anything, a little behind the scenes, behind the sausage, if you want to see that. And of course, LibrePay's been around forever. Uh, Pay no attention to the men behind the sausage. It's full of sausage llamas. <laughs> We also have Amazon wish list. So we, we got this crazy idea that we've had for a long time. Um, if you pick something up off of one of our wish lists, and uh, you can send in a note if you so choose. And we Voice will mail, read the Spotify. Note. And oh, I yeah. f- figure that one out. <laughs> I, I, want so, I want people to do it. I, we, we have the ability, and very, very few people have fought that dragon, and I'm sad. We're, we're taking a side talk to talk about Spotify voicemails while we're doing the Amazon wish list, but okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. <laughs> Drugs. Hi, what's up? Go, go, go Jordan buy has stuff. one, Jill has one, Pedro's got one, and I got one for the studio. We also got a merch store, Amazon storefront, and of course, Humble Affiliates. There we go, nice little bit of shilling. Oh, if you are a patron, you get a ad-free, YouTube-free video version of this that is the highest quality out of all of them. That you can just download and carry with you everywhere. You can you could have had it on the holiday. You're stuck at your grandparents' house on fucking dial up. Can't watch a show. We got you covered. No need for even YouTube DLP, which I need to update because allegedly it doesn't work. Last time I used it yesterday. Well, the, 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 <laughs> there's there's that website that tells you if like ad block and YouTube DLP work today or at this yes. minute. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's called my terminal when that thing farts and has an aneurysm. I'm like, well, I guess I need to go download the binary again and. Yeah, let, 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 let's check the change log, see if there's an update. Womp womp. All right, beautiful people. We're going to bounce out of here, roll some credits. Thank you. Uh, stick around for that. I see your name in lights. You make show possible. But on that bombshell, still got one more week. And it's like, for this, and I'm like, nope, one more week. Uh, hey, if you want to get in touch with me, I'm just at Vince Stone. I'm on X, going to give it to you. And. Um, I'm on Mastodon, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm just at Vin on our instance, and I'm whatever I am on Blue Sky. Just type in Vin on Blue Sky. There's like six people on Blue Sky. I'm one of them. I'm the only one called Vin because no one wants that dumb name. (laughs) It is I, the Wizard of Cheese. You can follow me on the Blue Skies or on Mastodon. I'm at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com on Mastodon, at Frojo on Blue Sky, and at The Burning Fool on Twitter. I'm at all the places, not like Pedro. No, I, I I'm down to Mastodon. That's that's it. I suppose I technically am on Space Hey, but <laughs> if you want a uh, Space, Space Hey, Whoa, is, is it like like Space dr- MySpace? That's MySpace. Space. That sounds like a drug. yeah. It is a, uh, is that MySpace regular space? reimplementation, as it were. Uh, it is very much following like the MySpace High Five style of that's uh, a, that, that's social what the networking. Horse eats when it wants to get fucked up. Space. Hey. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm technically on that, but I don't use it, so there's that. Right. So, yeah, at unaccounted for with the actual number four at the end uh, on mass.lettingsgamecast.com. Just just go there. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. Bring your own horse and an alpaca. B-Y-O-H-A. <laughs> Association. No, hey as in uh, H-E-Y. Credits. No, A, A, A. That's just A at the end because it's alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we are three hoes. Hey. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> hey, ho, let's go. You don't have to call me that, I man. didn't have enough time. To th- well, I didn't think about it in time. I was going to change our name tags at the bottom ah. to just ho, ho, ho. But, ah, well, yeah. we've got to thank our <laughs> advisors, Osega, our, our Omega Star Theron, our executive producers, Barb Ram, Scott Michaud, Tom Cass, Mike G, Drummer, Tomaj, Hakeem, David, and Eshep, and our little Nick fan, Super Desto, Eggy, Empty, and Nubbin. And the Sea Monsters with Noah Ryder, X Machina, Trudgy Virgin, Nuna, Justin Nubbin, Darkwing, System T, Dancing Joe, Ogi One, and all the Death Nodes, Nova Chad, Death Nodes, Romeo, like Pebble, Renee, Turnover, Leonardo, Fine, Sherlings, Zamblano, Doom 2.1, uh, Rohit, I know Rohit's around, Sacred <laughs> Egg, 
turnover. Schmerzmelasm. Blasphemia. Unioid. Oh, is Unoid's name uh, improperly written there? I don't know. <laughs> or, or have we just been saying it wrong the entire time? Because uh, then, yeah, no, it's on the fuck wall too. So it's Unoid on the fuck wall. Unoid. It's Unioid on the chair legs. <laughs> on on your- Listen, uh, as always, if there are any errors in her credits, please reach out because that shit is done manually. It's your name. You need to let us know. <laughs> right. You're like, no, it's pronounced fuck weasel. <laughs> is, 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 it, is it Scythal or Synthal or Sithul or... Synthal. Uh, Synthal, yeah. We're going to call him that from now on. Deck the holes with Synth. <laughs> hey, yeah, be done with that. All right, everybody. Down to fire. We'll see you next week. Time that right. And by time that, I mean that's just coincidence. <laughs> yes, I all according to Keikaku. Yes. Mm. Nailed it. Five dudes. <laughs>